presidential executive orders require the Army National Guard to implement and maintain environmental management systems. An environmental management system, referred to as EMS, is a tool used by organizations worldwide to manage both positive and negative impacts on the natural environment. The Army National Guard is committed to continual improvement of operations that support the military mission by adhering to policies and visions that lead to a sustainable future for operations and installations. The Army National Guard uses EMS as the framework to achieve environmental goals and objectives to improve soldier training and mission readiness and to preserve natural and cultural resources. An effective EMS reduces costs, improves day-to-day -day operations, and leads to a more sustainable future for people of our nation and the world. This video showcases how strong command emphasis for EMS supports the mission of the Army National Guard. I'm Colonel Michael Bouchard, G4 for the Army National Guard Directorate. I oversee the Environmental Programs Division, the Installations Division, the Logistics Division, and Army National Guard Sustainability Team. Our mission is to support every individual in the Army National Guard by providing timely and accurate logistics, installation management, and environmental programs to ensure sustainable operational readiness in the support of state, national, and global initiatives. We are in a very complex and uncertain financial environment, and we face growing competition from limited resources. With a strong command emphasis and participation from all, a properly functioning environmental management system will produce a great return on investment. This is especially true in the important areas of energy security and limited water resources. Leveraging our EMS will lead to continual improvement and providing the most cost-effective and sustainable full-time support of our soldiers. I encourage my staff to extend their complete support to the EMS, and I also encourage you to support and embrace the EMS within your state. I believe we can be the best in the Department of Defense, and I believe the environmental management system is an important tool to that end. Hello, my name is Colonel Michael Bennett. I'm the Chief of the Army National Guard's Environmental Programs Division. I'm just going to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about what EMS is and how it can help you better support the mission. In its simplest form, EMS consists of four main parts. Plan what you do to get your stakeholders together. And you really need to involve all key elements of the command from your, your top-up leadership to your individuals on the ground, the use of those unit commanders, shop chiefs, and so forth. Because really, they're, they're the folks that make all this happen. If you don't get those personnel together, you don't necessarily know what everybody's doing. And in this day of constrained resources, we need to know what everybody's doing so we don't duplicate programs and processes. Uh, second element is do. Uh, just take action on the plan. Go out and, and complete the mission. The third element is check. We go out, we look at the plan, we evaluate the plan to make sure that what's in the plan is being followed and take it steps to adjust if necessary. Uh, the following step would be act and that's where you take the other three parts and figure out how to readjust the plan to move forward. Uh, some elements may not have been accomplished uh, so you need to look at additional goals and objectives, uh, streamline those, uh, look at maybe a, a different way of approaching it if previous attempts weren't successful. Uh, within the Army we have multiple folks that impact the environmental program from your your environmental folks, uh, of course, but your installation, your installation personnel, your logistics personnel, your training personnel, all of your units all have an impact uh, and should play a, a key role in your environmental management system. Hey, throughout this video, you'll see a number of success stories, uh, but really these success stories could not have occurred without your input. Uh, from the highest level of leadership, uh, it's very important that you take that command emphasis. Uh, Soldiers on the ground see that the leadership is really looking at EMS and seeing how it can impact their, their mission, how it can be a benefit to their state. As the Adjutant General, I'm committed to the continual improvement of our operations to ensure that our soldiers and airmen have quality land, 
water, and air resources now and into the future that are essential to their training and readiness. Therefore, it's my policy and my vision to generate obtainable goals that lead to a sustainable future for the Minnesota National Guard. That is why I have designated the following as significant aspects of our environmental management program, including encroachment at Camp Ripley, the reduction of energy, and the reduction of waste. Camp Ripley's combined support maintenance shop armament repair uses sonic vibrations for cleaning weapons such as M4s and 50 caliber guns. These weapons are placed into a basket inside a bath of cleaning solvent. Sonic vibrations are used to remove dirt, grease, and grime. This system replaced cleaning weapons by hand, which resulted in a large amount of waste and added a tremendous amount of time to this task. Doing the right thing is great. Doing the right thing for the right reason and with the right intention is even more fulfilling. I fully support our environmental goals and objectives as they benefit the training of our service members and improve their mission readiness and increase our ability to protect the resources for the citizens of our state. As we continue to impl implement pollution prevention measures and energy saving practices, we will improve awareness of our sustainable practices, save money, and become better stewards of our environment. As the Adjutant General, I am committed to the continual improvement of our operations. Therefore, it is part of my policy and my vision to generate obtainable goals that lead to a sustainable future for the Kansas National Guard. Currently, these goals address the reduction in use of energy and water while relying on green building practices to enforce other low-cost solutions. To implement my vision, we have designated three objectives that align with Executive Order 13423, with multiple targets that implement strategies to reduce energy and water consumption and create greener facilities through leadership in energy environmental design or commonly referred to as LEED construction and renovation practices. These objectives align with mission planning and create sustainable daily practices. Some of these initiatives can be simple, low-cost solutions such as turning lights off, doing lighting upgrades, installing new fixtures that reduce the amount of water used, and taking air infiltration measures by insulating our workspace. On a larger scale, the Kansas Army National Guard is installing geothermal HVAC systems at facilities researching the use of wind and solar power to reduce our dependence on electricity and the associated cost and implementing advanced metering at various sites throughout the state. These initiatives will have an immediate impact on the amount of energy used, which in turn reduces the energy cost for the agency. By implementing these measures, we will improve awareness of our sustainable practices, save money, and become better stewards of our environment. I'm Colonel Barry Taylor, the Director of Logistics for the Kansas Army National Guard. The implementation of an environmental management system has created structured opportunities to combine operational improvement with targeted goals for the reduction in the use of energy, water, and during maintenance activities. For example, the investment of a geothermal HVAC system at our mates facility at Fort Riley, Kansas. The taxpayer will save just under $2 million as a result of this project. EMS is a valuable tool to identify, address, and maintain initiatives that increase environmental efficiency and mission readiness while lowering operational cost. The Missouri National Guard implemented an environmental management system in accordance with the ISO 14001 standard to identify and manage our environmental impacts on Missouri resources and training lands. The Missouri National Guard's environmental management system has reduced the workload for our soldiers and improved the business processes necessary to meet the intent of my environmental policy. To implement my policy, I have designated the reduction of waste and energy as significant aspects. To reduce energy consumption, we've installed new, more efficient lighting and heating, ventilation and air conditioning units with smart thermostats. We recently opened a new readiness center at historic Jefferson Barracks located in St. Louis, Missouri that is certified as a leadership in energy and environmental design silver facility. To facilitate waste reduction, we procured and deployed the use of smart washers at all surface maintenance locations. The use of the smart washers has allowed us to eliminate a hazardous waste stream 
and provide a safer work environment for our soldiers. To continually improve our business practices, reduce pollution, and be a good environmental steward, my staff was able to eliminate the generation of an estimated 60,000 pounds of paint-related waste at the Missouri Army National Guard AVCRAD by installing a wastewater pretreatment system. By implementing these measures, we are improving the conditions our soldiers work and train in, as well as ensuring a better environment for current and future Missouri National Guardsmen. I'm Major General Greg Vadney, uh, Adjutant General, State of Michigan. I want to talk a little bit about my background, not only a soldier of 42 years, but uh, in my civilian career in the oil and gas exploration business, uh, specifically focused at uh, natural gas. And so I'm well familiar with uh, both the needs and the opportunities uh, with respect to our facilities and installations and actually designated one of my general officers to take lead as installation management commander. I'm Brigadier General Mike Stone. I am the Assistant Adjutant General for Installations in the Michigan National Guard. One of the things that uh, really surprised me was how much money we're actually spending on utilities. And we looked at, the, looked at a holistic approach of the environmental management system. Uh, we're looking at putting in uh, smart grids and infrastructure at Grayling, that, which will enable large-scale renewable projects. We have uh, numerous partners at the state, local, and federal level that are assisting us. So as we move into the 21st century, uh, we've got the platforms um, to do it and to operationalize some of these large-scale projects quickly. We need to be competitive, just like a business, and we need to be, make sure that all of our soldiers and airmen are out there and are part of the team, conserving energy, doing their part, uh, and it all adds up uh, in, in a very big way. Hi, I'm Colonel Eric Randall, and I am the commander of the largest National Guard training facility, Camp Grayling, Michigan. One of the important systems that we use here at Camp Grayling is through our uh, state environmental office, and it's the EMS. The EMS is uh, really an excellent tool for us to help monitor um, all of the different uh, energy usages across our, our post to meet our goals. We can really know at any given time where we're at, what we need to do, and how we need to make adjustments in order to uh, keep working towards that ultimate goal of being uh, net zero and completely off the grid. We have moved forward and looking at and developing uh, opportunities in the energy sector, everything from uh, our program and at Camp Grayling where we, are, we have achieved a net zero in terms of uh, water use and management on that installation and moving quickly uh, towards a net zero uh, installation in a not too distant future. I'm Colonel Kimberly O'Keefe, Chief of the Installations Division of the Army National Guard. I'm very pleased to talk with you about the environmental management system. EMS provides a framework to enhance the design, construction, and maintenance of our installations and facilities. We coordinate with multiple functional areas of the Army National Guard to support each role in the military mission while also meeting overall environmental goals. Our facilities run the gamut from vehicle and aviation maintenance facilities to training sites and of course our readiness centers. So we rely on input from our maintenance community, operations and training, logistics and the commands themselves to incorporate all concerns in the design, placement, and operation of military infrastructure. EMS encourages that collaboration on the environmental aspects of each of our functional roles and the military mission for each of our facilities. Most importantly, the Army National Guard provides the best military support and domestic response when we are able to sustain ourselves. Key to the Installations Division mission is designing sustainable facilities that are energy and water efficient, that are constructed with durable and recyclable building materials and that support sustainable full-time operations. EMS fosters consideration of all the environmental aspects for the entire life cycle of our facilities. We owe it to our soldiers to emphasize sustainability in everything we design, build, and maintain to ensure that we are providing our soldiers the very best facilities to support them as they support the communities they serve. I believe the EMS will allow us to better compete in an environment of limited resources, and I know it will improve our energy and water security. Thank you for all you do, and I look forward to meeting you.